Hi and welcome to Physics High and today I want to give you a broad overview of the HSC Physics course which is part of the New South Wales curriculum here in Australia. And the whole purpose here is to give you sort of a broad brushstroke to know what is in the course. Now the purpose is not to go into great detail of each of the modules and therefore also the inquiry questions. That's the subject of future videos. So let's start. Now the HEC course is divided up into four modules. They are modules five through to eight because you would have covered modules one to four in year 11. And all of those modules of five through to eight are based on the foundations of what you covered in year 11. And I'll produce a video similar to this, but on the preliminary or the year 11 course. The first module you'll cover is advanced mechanics. The next module you'll explore is the concept of electromagnetism. The third topic, module seven, is the nature of light. And finally, at the end of year 12, you will most likely cover module eight, which is called the universe to the atom. In each of these modules, you will be exploring a number of key inquiry questions. And in fact, it's the inquiry questions that form the real crux of the syllabus. In other words, if you're able to answer the inquiry questions throughout your course using examples that you will learn in greater depth, then you have a good chance of success in the HSC physics course. Now, in each of the cases, the inquiry question is relatively long. I really encourage you to know the inquiry questions, but obviously I don't have space on my board to write out the full inquiry questions. So I will only be using some key words to help structure our table over here. However, I have produced a chart which gives you the full text of the inquiry questions all nicely laid out as a concert map and I put the link in the description below. Now advanced mechanics really is an extension of the concepts of kinematics and dynamics that you learnt in year 11 and so we're looking particularly in two dimensional examples of mechanics and it's divided up into three inquiry questions. The first of which is projectile motion. And projectile motion is simply where you have constant acceleration in one direction and constant velocity at 90 degrees to that motion. The second one is a circular motion where you're particularly looking at objects traveling in a circle experiencing centripetal forces. And our third topic is actually an extension of circular motion where you're looking at the motion within gravitational fields. We then get to the concept of electromagnetism. In year 11, you would have covered module four, which is electricity and magnetism. But here we combine the two, and in fact, they are basically two sides of the same coin. So the first aspect we're going to look at is looking at the behavior of charges in electric fields and in magnetic fields. The second thing you'll look at, or the second inquiry question, is the motor effect. Basically, wires carrying an electrical current will experience a force if they are placed in a magnetic field, and it is the foundation of our understanding of how electric motors work. Our third area flips this on its head. In other words, we have a concept called electromagnetic induction. And finally, after exploring all of those theoretical aspects, we look in our fourth inquiry question on applications that deal with those particular concepts. So that rounds out first half of the year. We now look at the nature of light. And from here on in, we are start to delve into what we traditionally known as classical physics into the concept of modern physics. These particular topics are addressed in the HSC in what we refer to as classical physics, basically the physics principles laid down pretty much for the last 500 years, right up until the beginning of the 1900s but we will delve further into more modern physics that developed in the 20th century from this point onwards, and I'll explain that shortly. The first thing we look at is the inquiry question of what is its nature? Well, what is it? And if we look at electromagnetic radiation, what is electromagnetic radiation and how that was developed? The second inquiry question, we look at the wave properties of light. And again, this builds on the foundation of the topic of waves that you did in module three in year 11. We now delve into where light starts to behave differently to what was expected. And we look at what we refer to as the quantum properties of light. And in particular, the photoelectric effect, which is the principle that underpins our solar cells. And finally, we look at the consequences of the speed of light being constant. And we look at Einstein's special theory of relativity. 
And now finally, we get to module eight, which is all about our understanding of the elements. So we're going from the big to the small. We go from understanding atoms down to their nucleus and even smaller still, and how we actually got to that. So we start off first with the concept of the elements, in other words, the cause of the elements. So what we are in essence looking is at the origins of the elements, and that leads us to our understanding of the Big Bang and the beginning of the universe. The second inquiry question deals with the structure of our atom. Now, we're not only interested in its structure, but also the historical development of how we understood that structure as well. We then deal and we continue our little history discourse here as well at the quantum nature of the atom. And so we now explore that matter. And in particular, we study electrons have wave-like properties. And then we go further into the nucleus where we look at various aspects of the nuclear structure, which also leads us to an understanding of radioactivity. And then finally, we go deeper still, where we look at not the protons and the neutrons that make up the nucleus, but what they are made up of. And what we're interested in particularly here is what is simply going deeper, where we get into the concept of the standard model, which looks at the structure of the protons and the neutrons and how we actually determine that. So as you can see, that gives us a full overview of the HSC course, all built upon the foundations of what you learn in year 11. As I said, in subsequent videos, I will explore each of these modules in greater depth so that you can use those either A, to look forward to the fact of what you're going to be studying in the next topic, or whether you want to look back and review to revise and consolidate your understandings for each of these concepts with the hope for greater success in the physics exams that occur at the end of the year. Please like, share and subscribe and put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. And the link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.